Folks, I'm so happy to uh, be doing this presentation today on Osmium. We've been all waiting for uh, this and uh, I think now is the perfect moment with these big four cubes I have of pure Osmium metal. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, a beautiful uh, metal that is slightly blue and it's a member of the precious uh, metals family and uh, I'm hoping that this ends up being more than just a little element porn. I'll talk a little bit uh, about the things that I think that are most interesting about this uh, element and the first is its density. Osmium blows everything away on the periodic table. If you thought tungsten was uh, heavy, this is 10% or so heavier than that, more actually, because this is 22.6 grams uh, per cubic uh, centimeter, while tungsten is only uh, comes in at 19 and 0.1, I believe. Uh, so in the hand, this feels like, I don't know, like the earth is pulling it down towards you. Still, it does not reach the theoretical density, that 22.59 uh, grams per per cubic uh, centimeter and the reason is because this metal is actually um, pressed powder it's sintered and we can talk a little bit about this what happens is the the metal is so difficult to melt that the way they do this is through powder metallurgy and they take it and they take a big scoop of it and they push it together they squeeze it at high pressure and heat and it sort of uh, welds together into what appears to be solid material but if you look at it under a microscope you see a lot of voids you know air uh, basically that uh, robs it of some of its density and if you do the math uh, given the the size you know an inch per side that's 25.4 millimeters you should have it come out to be something like 370 grams. Now we can check what these here actually come in at. Uh, oh, this cheap scale, like five bucks scale. But you know, for, for the purposes of this, we can see that it comes in at around 350 uh, grams instead of what should work out to be 370. Now, how can that be explained? No, it's not. You know, a trick. Uh, I don't know, gravity inversion or something. If you want to use a silly, uh, just watch a Kong movie. Anyway, what happens is that it's the, the trapped air in there that ends up robbing it of that full uh, density that you would see. Um, so why isn't it made just you know, the correct way, which is to melt it and you know, form it into a proper cube? Well, you, you can't. The, the only way to melt osmium, at least at an industrial level, is to uh, do it in a vacuum furnace. And that is just not possible because you don't have a, a way to contain it. It's going to turn into you know, a bead if it's small enough, uh, but if it's too big, it's just going to turn into a, like a pancake. So there's no way to hold that into something else to form into a cube. So this is the best way to actually make these uh, at a reasonable cost. Which brings up the second uh, most important aspect of these cubes are hellaciously expensive. These are precious metals. Uh, each one of these ended up costing a little over $10,000 each. So we're looking at uh, somebody plop down $40,000 or very close to it uh, to, to have these four cubes right here. And um, since it is a precious metal, uh, the price is going to fluctuate uh, every so often. So, you know, there's a chance that it'll go down. Realistically, though, this is the rarest metal in the industrial world. Only 50 kilograms, you know, that's about 100 pounds of this metal are actually recovered annually every year. So. Right here, you're looking at a fair percentage of the world amount of osmium. Uh, so uh, a little over, what is it? Well, my math is terrible, but if you have 350 times four, that ends up being uh, 1.4 kilos right here. So out of 50, you have a, a, 
a, a fair percentage of the world supply of this metal right here was commissioned to make these cubes. We do sell these other ones uh, for around 1500 bucks uh, and they sell very frequently. Now, given the rarity of this metal, I would expect that uh, as more and more people find out about osmium, that, that price is going to go nothing but up. It's very easy to drive up the price on a commodity that is this scarce. Uh, <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit more about uh, the weight. Uh, you can see, uh, again, this was 350. We can check it against uh, tungsten here and you see it blows it straight out of the water, you know, 314 versus 350. Uh, there's just no question. Uh, even rhenium, which is also uh, a precious metal and uh, it's, it's just as rare or, you know, slightly rarer, but in terms of uh, uh, weight, you know, the mass is, is definitely not quite there. This is, comes in at 21 or so. Both tungsten and rhenium are also, by the way, made through the same centered process. So they're not going to reach full density, but uh, you're going to uh, see that the, uh, lost my train of thought, that the weight is going to be comparable in terms of, you know, it reaches somewhere in the 95% uh, density. 5% uh, being lost to those voids and the uh, and the matrix of the you know internally. Um, the, the last thing I wanted to discuss was the. Uh, you also see the color is uh, different. Uh, you can definitely tell how it's a little slightly bluish compared to these other two. Anyway, so the last thing I wanted to discuss was the toxicity. Everybody seems to have heard somewhere that osmium is toxic, which it is, um, but uh, this toxicity is only really relevant when the metal is in its uh, powdered form. You have powdered metal. Powdered metal is usually bad news no matter where, which one you're talking about. We don't sell powdered metal uh, typically because, you know, it's toxic, it's ugly, and it's not something that you can really work with. Uh, what happens with uh, osmium, however, is that it oxidizes when it's very finely divided. So if it's a powder, it becomes more vulnerable to attack by oxygen in the air, and that forms the tetroxide. And osmium tetroxide is hugely uh, poisonous. It's, it's really bad news. It can stain your cornea, which makes you blind, and that's irreversible damage to the eye. Uh, and it's bad for other tissues in the body too if you smell in a saw. It is only, however, uh, something that happens in its powder form. In solid form, th there is just no danger for that to happen. It, it, it's, not, it's not a process that happens at room temperature on solid objects. If you were to heat this up uh, maybe to a thousand degrees, some uh, osmium tetroxide would form and you would be able to smell and it's supposed to smell like garlic or something like that and that would warn you hey uh, get away from this stuff it's it's becoming toxic but unless that were to occur this is perfectly safe to handle barehanded uh keep it around uh and you don't have to worry about it so uh i think i've covered the uh, the the biggest uh, questions that usually come up for osmium and i would be happy to answer any others uh, if so please uh, leave me a comment or send me an email I think I'm going to wrap it up here so I don't mumble on too much. More, this is Raciel for Luciteria. Thank you for watching this.